One of the most common calls with ACT is how to set up email integration. This can be quite easy with ACT. All we have to do is go to Tools, Preferences, and click on the Email and Outlook Sync tab. We then click on Email System Setup. Welcome to the email setup. You can customize how ACT works with email by changing your preference setting. Hit Next. Most likely you'll be using Microsoft Outlook, so we'll click this and press Next. At this point it will ask us to point at the database we're using, so we'll click Add. Generally by default it should find the database that you're currently logged into. If this is another database, you just have to click Browse and find the one that you're looking for. It will ask for your username and password. I don't have a password, so it's just my username, Jake Mitchell, and press OK. On this pane, it will ask us what email editor we would like to use to read and write messages. We have two options, the ACT email editor and Microsoft Outlook. By default, I would suggest using Microsoft Outlook. We can also choose to record history every time we send an email. On this pane, we can decide what type of history we'd like to record. We can either set it to none, email subject only, email subject and message, email subject, message and all attachments. By default, most users generally have email subject to message and will decide later on if they want to add attachments. Step six of this integration refers to when we decide to attach emails through clicking the button in Outlook. Then the add-ins pane, there is a button where we can choose to attach emails. When we click on this, it will choose by default which one to do. Again, it's email subject only, subject to message, subject message, and all attachments. When we use Quick Attach, ACT will automatically look at who the contacts are to attach to. Here we can decide where from, so we can choose it from, from and to, from and CC, or all contacts. We can also choose here to create contacts if they are not found and exclude my record from any histories. When you create an activity for a contact, you can choose to show it in a specific program, for example, ACT or Outlook, or ACT and Outlook. Generally, we would say keep it just on ACT. When you accept a meeting invitation in Outlook, you can choose if you want to record and create an activity. So you can either set this to none, automatically create an activity, or edit and create an activity. Finally, we hit finish, and then apply. We'll now open up our Outlook. Once we're in our Outlook, we can see that a new tab has been added called Add-ins. When we click on this, we can see that the Act add-in has attached successfully. If it hasn't, we will only see these two buttons. When sending a new email, we also have the add-ins button up here. When we click on this add-ins button, we can choose if we do not want to attach any history, and again, email subject only, email subject and message, email subject and message, and all attachments. So this would be used if either you don't want to record any history, or you want to add an attachment to the history. And when you hit send, you'll see an icon appears down here, and then disappears again. After that, it should have attached. test that the email integration is working, I've created a quick DMC support contact with the support at dmcsoftware.co.uk email. So I'll click on this link to open up an email window. I'll give it a subject and a message. And once that's sent, if we press F5 to refresh, we can see that it has attached to the history.